I'd like to open a conversation around something that I don't think is discussed enough in DJ culture. And this is around DJs not sharing their track lists and track IDs when they put a set on SoundCloud. So I'm gonna break this into two pieces. One, I'm gonna go through all the arguments I've heard from other DJs over the years when they tell me the reasons they don't share their track lists and track IDs. And then after that, I'm gonna go through my reasons for sharing track IDs and explain why this makes the world a better place. So let's dig in. Reason number one, not sharing my track IDs encourages digging culture. I am also supportive of digging culture. This is why I share all my track IDs. Hiding track IDs is actually obfuscation culture, which discourages digging. If a listener or another DJ has a track ID to work from, then they can go find more music from that artist. They can go find more music from that label. That's digging. If you truly care about digging, then I think it's important to recognize that hiding tracks from other people wastes time at the expense of more good music being discovered. Reason number two, it took me hours and hours of work to find that music, and I don't want other DJs to steal my hard work. I think experienced selectors know that the placement of a track in a set is oftentimes more important than the actual track itself. I could give you my entire music library, and I wouldn't feel worried, and I wouldn't feel threatened, because I know that you wouldn't mix those tracks the same way that I do, in the same order that I do. If you feel threatened by other DJs playing the same music that you play, I think you're optimizing for the wrong thing. You should focus more on telling a musical narrative and reading a room to see what the audience needs at that specific time. Also, this is 2024. This is a world of Shazam, 1001 track lists, and Discord and Telegram communities where everyone's sharing track IDs anyway. If you really want music that no one else has, you should be producing your own music and not releasing it to the world. That's the competitive edge. Reason number three. If I don't share my track lists, more people are going to comment on my SoundCloud mix asking for the track ID. You're not wrong, Walter. You're just an asshole. If you're trying to gamify the SoundCloud distribution algorithm by getting people to comment track ID, bro, this is obnoxious. To me, this is the moral equivalent of pop-up ads. Okay, so those are the reasons against sharing track IDs, which I don't think are very strong. So now I'm going to talk about the positive aspects of sharing track IDs. Reason number one, sharing track IDs is good for art. Sharing track IDs supports and incentivizes artists to make more good music. More music will be purchased, more careers will be supported, more fans will go to those artists' live shows, and more great art will be discovered. There will be more good art in the world if we all share our track IDs. This is the world that we all want to live in, right? A world with more good art? Reason number two, sharing track IDs builds community. I've been releasing mixes for the last 15 years, and because I share my track IDs, it's opened new conversations with other music producers and record labels. It's gotten me added to promo lists, it's expanded my network, but most importantly, it's increased my sense of belonging in the music community. This is very good, and it's another thing that we should all want. Reason number three, music producers are doing most of the real work. I know this one is controversial, but it's true. I wear both hats as a DJ and a music producer, and producing music is an order of magnitude harder than DJing. It's important to attribute and respect other producers' hard work. A world where more people respect each other is a better place to live, and we should want that too. Obviously, I have strong feelings on this. I think it's something that we don't discuss enough in DJ culture. Sharing track lists is good for art, is good for artistry, is good for helping sustain art careers, but most importantly, I think it's good for humanity. I'd love to keep this conversation going. This is just a starting point. So let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree. And let's have a nice, polite, rational debate about it. And lastly, big ups to my Discord community, ateachmusic.com slash Discord. They helped me refine some of these thoughts and get to these conclusions. Thanks for watching. Hope you took away something from this. And see you later. Bye.